Hello, welcome to uh, MapLibre's 3D mapping uh, tutorial number two. In the last video, I show you how to uh, get an API key from a map title and then how you can create a 3D map very easily. In this tutorial, we're going to go to the second one, uh, how you can customize the base maps. So if you go to the libmap.org uh, and then on the left sidebar here, click the map libre and then scroll down to find base maps. Okay. And so there are different ways you can uh, execute uh, the notebook. Uh, you can download this one to your computer if you know how to uh, set it up, to, uh, install the packages, or you can just open in Google Collect. As I mentioned in the last video, uh, you can set uh, the get the map Tyler API key, and then you can set the API key here, so that you don't have to set it every time, so you don't need to run this code block. Um, you don't want to. So just run this one, and then you can run this one. Uh, as long as you grant access to your uh, API key. So uh, this is the easiest way to get started. And from now on, I'm going to use um, the notebook on my local computer. I just updated this notebook. So when you see this video, to, uh, you should be able to see updated one. This, this one is a simplified version. So I added a couple more options that allows you to um, add different types of base maps. So uh, the first one we're going to go through uh, here, uh, you can just import the libraries. And then, so by default, for example, if you don't specify anything, just leave map dot map. By default, it's going to use the Cartel DB dark matter um, base map, and this is a vector tile base map. You can zoom in, for example, you press Shift Control on keyboard, and then you can drag the map. Uh, you'll see um, the base map uh, zooming in, and for example, you can continue zooming. So this is actually a pretty high uh, resolution, a very detailed uh, vector tile base map. Uh, from um, color TV, you can click the hint here uh, if you want to see what other available options. So dark matter, uh, position, uh, voyager, and also no label. So if you don't need the, the labels, then you can use the no labels. So what you can do here is just to simply specify um, the style you want. So I can just style. Like I said, if you don't specify, you're going to use the dark matter, but you are also welcome to just, for example, type uh, dark matter. You want to or you can use position for example just double click and then paste this one here right position so this is a light uh, color or you can use the voyager okay. so you're welcome to customize this uh, base map uh, for your liking and this is using the free version so um, it doesn't require an api token so you can use it uh, for whatever way, uh, way you want the second way is to use the map Tyler API key. Uh, as I saw in the last video, you can uh, get an API key uh, from map Tyler. So it provides um, a lot of uh, options for you to uh, use the vector tile base map. So these are some of the standard one. And if you want to use any of those, for example, um, how about the switch? So if you click and then it's going to show you uh, at the browser bar here, you should see street uh, version two, or we can just use street. And this is actually the vector tile. Uh, that's being used um, and um, so I'm going to uh, go back to here uh, with the previous one and from here I'm going to use any of the names from here so just lowercase and then passing to the style so you don't actually need the JSON file I have simplified it uh, in the um, source code so what we need to do is just for example come into here pick anyone and then just type in the name so for example if you want to switch then you can just um, write the name street uh, pretty easy and similarly for example if you want the ocean i can just type ocean and then just run it i uh, usually see the ocean uh, base map so this is a uh, vector tile is also very very um high resolution detail so street for example and similar to the one that i showed you earlier i can just zoom to for example then uh, new york location and you can see the details of those buildings and this all built on top of OpenStreetMap, uh, but they have different color, different styles, and everything is customizable. And nice thing about this, uh, you can actually drag so you will be able to see all the 3D buildings. So this all come from um, Matt Tyler. So nice uh, thanks to uh, Matt Tyler. And um, so let me turn around here. Right. So you can, uh, later on, I'll show you how to create 3D uh, buildings for now. Uh, just assume that, okay, you can use Matt Tyler uh, API key. Uh, again, it has. Um, limit of 100,000 API requests. Um, so I created some demos and it was exceeded pretty quickly. And uh, I, uh, uh, Matt Tyler was 
really kind to extend the um the version so that i can continue to use this one to create the demo uh, for you guys to see so again uh try to any try for any um uh you want for example i can also try topo example right so now you see the topo map so these are all very cool nice base map uh, you can even use the 3d uh for example 3d terrain i probably will cover this one in another video but uh you can just type 3d terrain and you should also be able to see the 3d uh, this is also from uh, map tiler uh, again you give zoom in and this looks like satellite base map but it's uh overlay on top of the um terrain so if you turn it like this way okay, you should see all the 3d terrain uh, so this is pretty cool and it's you see only like one line of code you can create this one um, very very easily so this is the power of using the vector tile and also from a map tiler and next one uh if you want to use some like a uh, free version you can also use uh, base maps from xyg services so these are some of the base maps that have been supported by leafmap uh folium ipi leaflet something like that so you can click here uh, it's basically a collection of uh, xyz tile services basically map tiles uh free uh free, freely available uh, you can also use token so we were just going to use the freely available one so if you all know the name for example open topo map and you can just run it you will be able to see uh, we just load the open uh, topo map uh, right away and again this is different from the map tiler this is raster tile so it's not vector so you you will certainly notice the quality is not as good as the vector tile it's not as uh, crispy sharp is the vector tile but it works if you want the free version so let me run this one again and how do you actually get the name of the open topo map right so sometimes if you don't know you can just uh, create a map first and then from here you just call this function map dot base map uh, without providing anything so if you already know the base map uh, you can specify where you want to show it by default on uh, opacity uh, visibility attribution so these are all optional uh, if you don't provide anything so let me show you run this one see by default it's going to add uh, base map so here there's a drop down list let me remove this one so there's a drop down list that allows you to make changes uh, interactively so this all from the list from uh, xyz services and again these are all some of the for not for production uh, if you use google you need to use google map api key but i can show you uh, here you can use google satellite uh, google hybrid uh, you can use any base map so all the color db base map actually are also available here but these are raster tiles not vector tiles and also uh, s3 base map for example can show you uh, s3 wall imagery right so these are also very high resolution that you can uh, utilize and uh, open stream map uh, stereo uh, uhgs and for example uhg topo yeah you see so this makes it really easy to use and once you figure out for example the imagery that you want then you can just uh, remember the name the name then you can go back to for example let's say i want the uh, uh, esri uh, war imagery so but uh, it probably is because it's already added so then i can come back to here and just map dot add uh, base map and then you'll be here yes i dot uh, war imagery and then run it you should be able to see uh, it's coming here and besides this one you can also change the opacity so if you want for example opacity equal to maybe 0.5 uh, you can do that as well so now it's a little bit uh, transparent you can also by default you want to say it visible or not so i can say visible equal to force on it uh, you will not show up but of course you need to add the layer control to be able to actually turn it so if you want you can just map dot add layer control and then run this one now uh, you see here right now the esri wall imagery is not showing but if i click it we am gonna show up so let me turn it back to maybe just fully uh, opaque okay you have this so similarly i can map dot um base map and i can say um how about uh open topo map open top, topo map okay and similarly you see if you add the layer control it's going to show up and i can turn this one on and off so this is how you can easily customize your base map uh, for a map libre uh, interactive map and also here you can actually change the opacity 
and also everything uh, directly from here. And um, so you can do that interactively uh, if you want to. Right? So then maybe it's like this. And this one off. And then run this one again. So we're going to add a Google map so I can turn it visible here. I can also change the opacity. This is more interactive. Um, it would be nice to be able to integrate these two uh, in the map. Uh, for now, this is separate. So this one is from uh, JavaScript. This one is using Python and iPy widget. Uh, it's not connecting. Uh, you cannot put it inside the map yet, but hopefully in the future we can do that again, like zooming on and off. This is how you can easily uh, customize any base map uh, in a leaf map and with uh, map libre. Okay, so that's all for this uh, video. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.